What, what if you could make a, your dream MMA match with current fighters? You're, you know, if you were a matchmaker and it's like this is the fight that you know everyone wants to see, what what fight would that be? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, you know what? I think it's one of those deals where you you have so many so many guys are in the transitional phase right now. You got guys that are still big names, but perhaps are on the latter end of their career. You know, you still got guys like Silva who are, who are out there that uh, you know. Some would say, oh, he's not competitive anymore, but you also have to remember, he was the Michael Jordan of MMA, so it's one of those things where even even though he's not as stupendous as he once was, he was at such a high level that even now, you know, he's still a very competitive fighter, you know, so uh, we all think of Jordan when he was 21 and that when Jordan when he was, you know, with the Wizards. With the Wizards, yeah. yeah. So that's basically what you're seeing now. Uh, I think I would like to see George St. Pierre uh, come back and... Uh, and possibly do that, you know, it, it's not a super fight, but I like to see him go up against Bisping. You know, I think, I think you got two guys that, you know, Bisping's on the latter end of his career, and you got George who's coming off a long layoff. Um, and one for me, I would like to see uh, Nick Diaz get the get the Robbie Lawler again. Yeah. You know, that was a fight where I don't think enough people gave Nick credit for that knockout that he had. And they're like, oh, well, you kind of caught him at the right time, this, that, and the other. And, um, you know, any fight that you have the Korean zombie in, man, I, I yeah. enjoy that as well. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's a, he's a great guy to watch. But, uh, but super fights, I don't know if there's really any super fights out there just because there's so many guys that, mm -hmm. that uh, have kind of gone by the wayside. You know, I think back in, the, in, in their time, I would have loved to have seen Fedor against uh, Lesnar. You know, that would have been oh, a, great, yeah. a great fight. To my, or, or Fedor against Kotor. Yeah, you know, yeah. one of those guys. Yeah. But uh, but right now, I mean, it, it's not a super fight unless you got Conor McGregor involved. Right. And obviously, his interests are elsewhere right, right. now. Yeah, of course. Let's, let's talk about that, actually. Sure. So what what's your take on that whole thing, Conor McGregor and Mayweather? Does it happen? If it does happen, how does it go? Uh, well, I mean, if it does happen, I mean, you got you got Floyd, who's just the greatest boxing technician out there. You know, uh, Conor is a great boxer when you look at it for by MMA standards, mm -hmm. but I mean, uh, I even think he's not the best boxer in MMA. To me, the best boxer in MMA is uh, Jorge Masvidal. Yeah. You, know, you see him, the guy just, I mean, he KO'd a guy kicking him with his with his hands, you mm -hmm. know, it was hands against legs, and he mm -hmm. still and he still won that fight. Um, but I think it's, it's, it's a very interesting fight as far as, as, it's more of a spectacle. It's more sports entertainment than it really is sports. Right. Um, you got two guys who are very big personalities. You got two very loyal fan bases. And then you got that, that casual crowd that just wants to see a show. Mm -hmm. And that's really who that's going to be for, you yeah. know. Um, you know, you, you, I mean, how can you possibly bet against Floyd, right, you know? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but I think it, it'll be a spectacle. I don't know if it's much of a fight, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a very good show. I, I definitely have Floyd in the fight, but I have Connor in the press conferences. Possibly. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't out talk Connor. All right.